guys, my name is Rachel Metz from Living to DIY and today I'm going to show you how to DIY this outdoor projection screen to enjoy an outdoor movie theater. Let's start with creating the DIY projection screen. You will need a drop cloth and tarp. Size is totally up to you. I am using a 6x9 drop cloth and a 6x8 tarp that has grommets. You'll need the grommets to basically secure the bottom half of the screen to the floor to make it nice and flush. You should grab some construction adhesive, a caulking gun, a wooden dowel that is cut down to the width of the movie screen size you would like, some scissors, needle and thread, and a hammer. The copper end caps are totally optional, it's just to chic up the project a little bit. You want to make sure that you have enough space to lay this out on the floor flat because we are going to be gluing the drop cloth and the tarp together. So you want to have plenty of working space. I went ahead and laid out the tarp with basically like what would be considered the inside of the tarp because the outside of the tarp is a solid brown color and I'm going to be using that silver basically as an outline to where I am going to glue and adhere my drop cloth to. Now the drop cloth is going to be a little bit longer than this tarp because the tarp is a six by eight. My drop cloth is a six by nine, but that's okay, we can trim it. Go ahead and line it up so it's just perfectly within that silver so you can see those grommets and start to add that construction adhesive around the outside as well as down the middle because if you don't adhere it down the middle, the two pieces will separate and kind of like bubble out and we want to avoid that. I would grab anything that's weighted on hand once you do start gluing because you want to also smooth it out with your hands as much as possible, pulling it tighter and tighter to get like the cleanest fit that you can. So I added some weights to one side as I worked my way to the other side. Since this construction adhesive actually has a little bit of working time, you don't have to freak out. You can lay it down, get back on top of it, and then smooth it out with your hands as you glue the entire thing down. You don't have to like rush or feel overwhelmed with this part because the glue is tacky for a little bit of time. It's enough for you to work with it for sure. As I mentioned previously, you can cut this down to be the full six by eight movie screen with the tarp on the back and the grommets all the way around. But for me in particular, for my gazebo space, I'm gonna be cutting this down to be a six by five foot screen to fit our space properly. If you are cutting yours down, how I like to do it is just measure from the side that I'm keeping, mark where the side I am cutting, lay my dowel down all the way across and use that as a rough guideline because we'll be folding this over the dowel and gluing and sewing it in order to hang this up. So you don't have to be picture perfect here if you are trimming. Grab your construction adhesive one more time, put your dowel where you think you're gonna be able to fold over the material enough for it to be securely in there. I'm gonna add a line all the way across just to help me have it just stick a little bit more while I'm sewing rather than it being a little bit frustrating and it opening and closing or moving and shifting while I'm trying to sew a straight line with the dowel in it. With the dowel in place, I went ahead and folded over the tarp and the drop cloth in order to meet that construction adhesive. I did weight it down and I waited a little bit of time for that adhesive to dry just a tad before I went in and sewed it all together securely. Once you sew all the way across, you want to just secure each side by knotting it and ensuring that it's not going to come undone. And voila, you got yourself a DIY movie projection screen. Now by no means is this necessary, it's totally optional. I'm gonna be adding some waterproof sealant tape by Gorilla Glue to the back of this and to the front where my seam is, just so you can't see it, but also to protect it. To hang this up, you just wanna add two hooks to wherever you're intending for this to be. The reason I am installing hooks on the opposite side of this gazebo is so you can't see it, but also because we'll be creating a DIY holder. That way you don't have to take this down, store it, and take up unnecessary space within your home. It can stay right there. I added two eye hooks towards the bottom of the post of my gazebo, and fun fact, if your fingers are hurting from turning one of these guys, just put a screwdriver through and twist it for you. It will do the work. You want to connect a bungee cord, I'm using 24 inch ones, to the grommet all the way to the eye hook on both sides, and that's going to pull the screen nice and tight. Last but certainly not least, all you have to do is set up your projector. I got this ion projector off of homedepot.com and then I waited for it to get fully dark to enjoy my new DIY outdoor theater. 
opening this projection screen from the beginning so you can see how flawless and easy this is. You just want to unhook the tape which you use to secure the tarp close which also makes this weatherproof. It will start to unravel. You have the freedom to flip it to whatever side you want to watch the movie at. Flip on the projection screen, set up some goodies, and enjoy your evening. It really doesn't have to cost a ton, nor does it need to be intimidating for you to DIY something that you can thoroughly enjoy year round. If you don't factor in the projector itself, because I think everybody can kind of budget with those where they will, this DIY itself costs way less than a hundred bucks. I spent about 80 bucks in total. Not only that, but quite frankly, if you're looking to start somewhere with any type of tools, this could be the perfect project for you because I really only used a power drill to secure those hooks into the gazebo. Everything else was hand sewn, hand glued, and I even sawed it down at the sawing station in Home Depot with the dowel. So it's, it is totally doable for any level of DIYer. And this doesn't just have to be limited to hanging freely at a gazebo with the bungee cords. You can hang them up against a wall, interior or exterior. As long as you have those hooks to hang, you are solid and good to go. To top this all off, you actually don't have to store this any way that's crazy. You can roll it up because the tarp is weatherproof and just tape it closed and put it right back on the hooks for your next use. The fun does not stop here. Head over to Home Depot's YouTube channel and check out more of their DIY workshops that they have available for you to just fully dive in and explore the world of DIY.